Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial from tech for all This is Saifuddin Ghanizadeh. In this video, I will show you how you can upgrade your Windows 10 unsupported PC to Windows 11. This video contains four parts. The first part is checking the compatibility in two methods through setup.exe in the ISO file and through Windows PC health check application. The second step is to copy the ISO files of Windows 11 into a new folder. The third step is to delete some specific word from the appraisers.dll file. And the fourth step is to start the installation of Windows 11. Let's start. You need to download the Windows 11 ISO and the Windows PC health check application. If you don't know how to download the Windows 11 ISO file and the Windows PC health check application, follow me. First of all, open your laptop's web browser. To download the Windows 11 ISO, you need to write download Windows 11 ISO in the Google. Select the first search, which is from Microsoft.com. You can download the Windows 11 in three methods. The first method is to download the Windows 11 in Installation Assistant, which will download the Windows 11 ISO and upgrade your Windows 10. The second method is to create a Windows 11 in Installation Media, which is used to create a bootable USB or DVD. And the third method is to download the Windows 11 ISO file. From the drop-down, select Windows 11 and click on the Download button. Now you have to select the language and click on the confirm button. Click on the 64-bit download button. As you can see, the download has started. As I have already downloaded the file, so I will cancel the download. Let's go back to google.com. Now, to download the Windows PC health check application, you have to write down Windows 11 in Google search engine. Select the first search result, which is from Microsoft.com. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Here you can see in the check for compatibility option, you can download the Windows PC health check application. Click on this link. The download of Windows PC health check application is started. Now let's proceed to the first step, which is checking the compatibility through ISO and Windows PC health check application. First, I will check the compatibility through setup.exe in the Windows 11 ISO file. Select the ISO file, right-click on it, and select Mount from the right-click menu. Select the setup file, right-click on it, and select Open from the right-click menu. Click Yes. Click on this option. If you want to download the update drivers and optional features, go with the first option, which is the recommended option. I won't download any drivers and optional features, so I will select the second option. Click on Next button. As you can see, I have faced an error, which says this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. It means that my PC is not compatible with Windows 11. Let's check the compatibility through Windows 
PC Health Check application. Let's close this setup. First, you have to install the Windows PC Health Check application. Select the setup file, right click on it, and select the install from the right click menu. Select this option and click on install button. Click finish to open the Windows PC Health Check application. Click on the check now button. Here you can see that I am facing the same error that my PC is not supported for the Windows 11. Let's close the Windows PC Health Check application and all other windows. Now let's proceed to the second step which is copying the files from Windows 11 ISO into a specific folder. First let's create a new folder. Select the ISO file, right click on it and select mount from the right click menu. Select all the files, copy it and then paste it in the new created folder. After you have copied all the files from the ISO file to a new folder, open the sources folder and find appraisers.dll file. You need to find the appraisers, not appraiser. Select the appraisers file, right click on it and open it with a notepad. Now you need to delete two words from this DLL file. The first one is TPM and the second one is UEFI. First, let's delete the word TPM from this DLL file. Press Ctrl F from your keyboard. Type TPM. Click on the next button and delete all those sentences which contains TPM. Now, let's delete all the sentences which contains the word UEFI. I have deleted both of the words TPM and UEFI. Now I need to save this file and close it. Let's go back to the main folder. Now let's proceed to the fourth step which is installing Windows 11. If you don't have too much time to delete all these files from the appraisers DLL file, I have already put the link of the edited ISO in the description. Also I have put the link of the edited appraisers DLL file in the description too. Let's start the installation. Select the setup file, right click on it and select open from the right click menu. Click on the yes button. I won't download any updates drivers and optional features so I will go with the second option and click on the next button. Click on the accept button.
Here you can see that Windows 11 is ready to install and it doesn't give me any error. Click on the install button to proceed to the installation. As you can see guys that I have upgraded the Windows 10 to Windows 11 without any error. And that's all for today. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I will catch you very soon with another one. Till then, have a nice time.